In the last video, I've shown you how applying some basic programming already helps to make the models much more flexible. Uh, however, in the future, you, it might be that you'll be working with the more advanced geometries and creating input classes and structures that will handle different objects. You may also need to apply more advanced boundary conditions or uh, work with more exotic materials. Uh, and in this case, I'm uh, working with the code uh, on the larger project uh, through the text editor and the terminal might prove it much more time consuming than you think, especially if you're working with the code that you have not created yourself. So in this case, I would, I would advise to uh, go to an IDE and uh, Eclipse is an example of an IDE uh, which will offer you more adv uh, advanced features and more benefits and it already works with consoles. So in this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to set up a very basic project in Eclipse, how to port the model to Eclipse, and I will do essentially the same work as in the last video with a slight modification to it. So let's restart where we have finished the last time. Uh, if we look back at the code, uh, we have the, uh, the model wrapped up as a uh, solved modified class that contains all the instructions for console and it's being followed by the code that we have created ourselves in order to transition from SPICE matrix to, uh, sorry, from, from Maxwell's matrix to SPICE matrix and the, the model has been modified having two tables now. So the first thing, let's open Eclipse. And as soon as Eclipse opens, the first thing that we need to do is to define the workspace. So let's call it workspace 7, continue. And now the difference between our working uh, with the text editors and the terminal window uh, and the Eclipse is that Eclipse doesn't know about all the class definitions uh, that are specific to console. So the very first thing that we need to do is set up a new project and port all those definitions. So let's name the file as console uh, Eclipse and press next. If we go to the libraries here, uh, then we press those add external jars. And then we need to specify the console installation path and therein we look at our plugins and the plugins will contain all the uh, all the libraries that are specific to console. So if we select all of them and press open, now Eclipse will uh, import all the definitions uh, that are specific to console and our project will work. So then we press finish and if you, if you expand the tree here, you see that we have all the definitions specific to Java and all the definitions specific to console. So the last thing is, uh, before we get started, uh, let's open the directory where we have saved the salt modified.java file and take and drag and drop this file to the source. So when we do that, uh, we, we copy the file uh, to uh, the workspace specific directory, so we press OK. And now if we have a look, we have imported this file to Java. So again, we have the salt modified version uh, containing all the instructions followed by our code. I promise to I put put a slight modification and I would like to like, uh, add two lines to this code. I would like to be able to make console compute the solution as well as save the two matrices as external files. So I no longer need to open console instant in order to be able to look at the output. So referring back to console uh, programming interface, uh, what I can do is uh, put the specific instructions, so model uh, and now, a nice thing about Eclipse, if you have a look, is it, it already knows all the definitions of the console classes. So it provides us with hint uh, that we can choose the options that are available uh, for this particular class. So if I go to model and then result, it knows all those definitions. The next thing will be uh, table. And here in the table, I need to specify the tag uh, that this thing we already see here that it accepts the string argument or we can leave it without. And now we're referring to a specific table, so let's just call it Maxwell tag. And then save. And when we save, uh, we need to specify the path and let this path be the same as where we, where, where we have stored this model the last time. So in my case that will be test, test3, and let's name this file as Maxwell matrix. CSV. One thing we say that is already wrong 
Again, an advantage of Eclipse is Maxwell type cannot be resolved to a variable. And that means that uh, Eclipse doesn't recognize that as a variable. And if we look to where we think we have defined it, uh, which is here, uh, we see that, oh yes, indeed, I have created an error defining the name. So if I just replace that with the proper name, um, now, console will, now Java will recognize that. And by the way, I promised to stick to the convention and I failed to, to comply. So let's just patch that as well. And now we have this variable uh, that really makes sense. So this line of code will save the Maxwell's matrix from the table to an external file and we will be, will be able to use uh, a program such as MATLAB or Excel in order to look at the numbers. And the next table we need to save is the SPICE table, so let's copy the tag here and change this name to SPICE. Uh, now these two lines will be able to save the files. Uh, the last thing we, uh, before setting run is if you, if you scroll up here, you'll be able to see that we're actually importing all the console class definitions here. So we need to in initialize that as well, and just before the model runs, uh, we need to place one more line, and this line will read as model util init standalone. And here we provide a logical argument, and in our case, if we don't use any graphics, uh, we're stated to false. So the way it works is that we have this main program here. It will initialize all the definitions and run the model, and this run is nothing else than just our our model. So if you wrap it up, you see this is this is what happens. So now let's just press run. And yes, this is the file. And open the directory where we'd like to save the files. And after a while, we should be able to see the two new files appearing in that directory. So now console is performing all the work in the background, um, following all the steps, and there we see it has successfully saved those two matrices. So if we, for example, open this one using Excel, we'll see the old numbers with the off diagonal terms negative, and if we open the, the second one, I will see that uh, we have the, um, we have the spice values, and this is the header. As you can see, working with the Eclipse is very simple. However, if we'd like to share the models with the others, uh, it might make sense to create some basic graphical user interface in order to help them uh, being able to define their own input and extract the output. Uh, that could actually cost us some more time to do, and there is a better way uh, if we think of sharing the results with the others. Um, this, uh, in the next video, I'm, I would like to introduce you to Console Application Builder, which will mix the console desktop with Java programming within console.